around 1980, I was teaching at a language school in, in Oxford, teaching mainly intermediate students. And they came from, from all over the world, mixed nationalities and mixed first language backgrounds. Um, they were also mixed in other ways, in their educational experience, for example, and their expectations, and that includes their attitude to grammar. So there's a problem focusing on grammar because the needs and wishes of students are so varied, and also the fact they're only here for two or three weeks. They can focus on grammar anywhere in the world, as long as they've got a, a book or something, or some source of information. Uh, but they don't get all the practice which they could get in a classroom. Um, so it was a rather unsatisfactory, uh, unsatisfactory uh, situation dealing with grammar in the classroom, in the classrooms that I was teaching in at that time. Um, and it wasn't very, didn't make much sense doing grammar in class, basically, for the reasons I've just given. On the other hand, students did have um, grammar problems and lots of questions and queries, confusions, gaps in their knowledge, and often they wanted those addressed. They would also ask if I could recommend a grammar book that would help them find the, the answers to um, the queries they had. And I, at that time, this is around 1980, couldn't really recommend a grammar book for students. I found them, um, I found them too academic. I, I don't think they were really written with the learner in mind. So I wanted to write some material to give to students to answer their queries without having to do grammar with the whole class. So I wrote uh, a series of worksheets and each of these um, dealt with a particular point of grammar. It might be the difference between two tenses, the past continuous and the past simple, or it might be a specific point like uh, used to, I used to do something as opposed to I am used to doing something. So each worksheet had a, a topic like that. And it consisted of three parts, uh, an explanation section, which explained the grammar concerned, dealt with the problems concerned with examples, and um, exercises, a number of easy to do exercises, uncomplicated exercises, just for the student, the, the learner, to clarify in his or her mind uh, what uh, the information that they just received. And then there was another sheet of paper which had the answers. And these were kept in the school library and they worked very well. And, um, well, I'd, I say I did about 30 of these and they were very popular with students. Students liked them. And I thought, well, I could get this published, maybe. I approached three publishers and Cambridge University Press were, uh, well, really the only ones to respond positively. And, uh, yeah, we got on with it. They, uh, they agreed. They gave me a contract and I wrote uh, the book based on these worksheets. I remember getting a phone call actually after about a year from Cambridge University Press saying that sales are suddenly, you know, taken off, that, um, that they were, you know, higher than expected and the book was becoming quite popular, at least in certain countries. So I knew it, it wasn't going to be unsuccessful at that stage. Um, and then year by year it got better and better and better. Uh, which, of course, I'd never expected. And you never know how long that's going to last. It can maybe last two years, five years, ten years. It's gone on for 25 years, I think, isn't it? So um, <clears throat> I think it happened pretty quickly that we realised it was, it was going to sell quite well. There's been three editions so far, with a fourth one soon to be published. It's great to have an opportunity to improve and correct and refine things a little bit, rework them, make things a bit clearer, reword something. And I quite enjoy doing that. But it's also an opportunity to update things from a language point of view. But uh, there's a lot of, you know, cultural change and lifestyle change in 25 years. Changing things like that is important. Now, with the fourth edition, uh, there's going to be an online version, which is the really the biggest feature of the fourth, fourth edition. So you have the opportunity to access it online as well as 
in print. I'm very interested in language and languages and language learning. I love things like, I love the history of language, historical linguistics and uh, etymology, that sort of stuff, the way languages relate to one another. I, I find it fascinating. I love reading about it, talking about it uh, and doing it. Um, I, I go to language classes. I, I enjoy that experience very, very much.